basically, I don't know where people think that they're going with whatever they're assuming or um, but I want to come and I want to thank everyone that have have um, subscribed to my channel and I hope my phone don't cut off before I get finished but I want to thank all of you guys I'm really working on like you know I'm not going to go into details or whatever. I don't too much want to be, you know, putting a lot of stuff out there regarding my situation because you don't know what space and place that people are coming from. But I appreciate all the subscribers. I am going to, I told y'all this before and uh, so forth, and I have made up in my mind that I'm going to do it. Made up in my mind that I'm going to do it. Um, damn, I got to take this off of here. They didn't let, damn, why did they let him come in here? Oh my God. Like, oh, damn, he ain't got all my mail and everything, my bill and stuff is soaked in wet. Oh, my God. Dang. They are always letting this kid come in here and do stuff. That's why I don't be letting him come. Oh God. Oh God. I mean, that's my cue anyway. I'm gonna have to take this off before it gets too late. And go and throw that in the washer. But anyway, um guys, um what I, I, I appreciate every subscriber that have came now. You guys probably don't know as much as what I'm talking about. And a lot of people on YouTube, they have nothing to do with what I got going on. Some of them may watch me and know or whatever, but, you know, they're not involved with what I was being involved with when I got on to YouTube, it went from listening to music and I started putting, writing my testimony on like uh, Celebrity, which is a Christian rapper, you know, and I don't know, I was going through a major breakdown, a major, I mean, you know, and I wasn't thinking clear, I was not, I'm not going to tell you. I could see a lot of things that were going on because I have the gift of seeing and knowing. <coughs> I have the gift of seeing and knowing what people are doing and so forth or whatever. You know, no, I don't just know. I'm not going to say I'm just this major or whatever, but I use the cards also as, you know, um, but... Um, I'm not going to say I'm just this major medium, but like a lot of times, even in my community, this have been something that's been norm for me, my gift or whatever that I know things about people and I, God show me things. So I knew of things that people were doing and you know, who they try, you know, we all have masks. People mask themselves and they try not to want you to know who they really, really are and you be knowing anyway. And so I made the mistake because I'm not a person that I can talk to um, a few people 
and in person, like how my how my uh, language be in the way I'm speaking on YouTube, like um, it's been um about two years or before that that I've just like consistently been speaking on my videos and stuff. I'm not a person like I've always worked jobs with customer service. Now, you know, I didn't I have even been managers, supervisors and things like that. But I had a breakdown or whatever like I you know, and I was majorly going through some stuff like I couldn't write properly. I couldn't um think properly. I couldn't do anything like I was having that nervous breakdown. I was in the middle of it when I got to YouTube. And so I just started listening to Christian music. And it was uh, another Christian rapper. His brother is who I started out listening to. And he had gotten killed. And so so it um, it. I'm not going to say it. How did I get it? Um, how can you? What is that word? It referred me to his brother's music. And I started using, listening to that. And then so after that, I started listening to other Christian rappers. And, you know, the ones who I felt comfortable with. Because I... Too much. If I know that you're in a relationship or you have a wife, I don't even care if it's the pastor. Like I don't be trying to like I let I used to let my old pastors pray over me and da 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 and all of that and touch my head. And, you know, they used to have the women to, you know, do like a lot of that stuff when it came to women to throw over, throw the the uh, covering over you and all of that or whatever um, when you're getting prayed for or whatever. But I have never been a person that just like to make myself be too overly comfortable with anyone's husband. I can't do that. Like I just or whatever. And so if I find out that you're in a connection connection, I like I, you know, and you're married and so forth. It just make me feel we can talk. Like on like uh on you know on a serious type basis, or it's something to do with something serious that's involving me or asking questions or giving answers or so forth or whatever. Then yeah, I will talk to men as far as that. But I can't be overly comfortable with anyone's husband. Just like my neighbor or whatever. She's a white lady, but. Um, the other couple that live on the right hand side of me, they're married and they're black. And the lady that live on the left side of me, she's white. <coughs> and they have been knowing each other for a long time. But <coughs> this lady or whatever, I feel uncomfortable with her doing that. But she goes up to our neighbor that live on the right-hand side, that, which is Mary, and they're a black couple. And she rubs down his face and all of that, and she be telling him, you know, uh, telling him, be nice and be nice and all of that, and, you know, and so forth. And I kind of stay to myself or whatever because I, I, it can be high and by, but I can't just overly speak to people's, husbands and act you know in some certain type of way or whatever like um I'm being too overly expressive or overly comfortable with anyone's husband so um this Christian rapper was saying that he wasn't in a connection and by rights, by all means or whatever, if, but you still don't need to be sleeping throughout, even if you're, but my, your business is really not mine. So let me just shut up about that. That's not my business, whatever, you know, people know, we know what we're doing. And so, you know, that's their business, but 
that I felt comfortable enough to tell this Christian more or less that give messages and you know that do music a little bit more about my my situation and what I was dealing with because I had never opened up to really just tell people now I went to therapists or whatever but I also was put in a position where my therapist laughed at me and thought it was a joke they just think oh well just pat you on the back and go on about your business at the time when I was I was taking all kinds of pills when I was going to the therapist and all kinds of stuff just trying to maintain and sustain and man I was far gone in my head like and even with me being gone like that I have my gifting you know God you know he give us our gift it's up to us with what we're gonna do with it or whatever so you know, I still had my gift and could see, and I knew right off that this motherfucker was playing games with me. Like, don't play with me. Like, you you was just getting paid to mimic me or mock me, make me out of a mockery or laugh at me or something. And right after, like, so many sessions, I just began to start feeling uncomfortable with him. And no, I did not go and try another one because you can only F up with me, like, so many times. Like, sometimes I'll give you three chances or whatever, but I can't. I can't. I can't do it because I've endured a lot and went through a lot. And I know that people will betray you, backstab you, and all of that. So I came up in here trying to open up, feeling like that, you know, this man would understand my situation a lot better because of who he was claiming it or who he was saying he was in his music or whatever. So I'm like, yeah, you know, he come from, you know, down there where I'm from, you know, out of the mud or whatever. Like, I, I you know, he could relate to what I'm going through, man. Like I'm hurt, like I'm hurting. Like I've never like just I, like to none of my relatives or anything because all of them is closed off, half of them narcissistic, half of them not ill, dysfunction rival up in this piece or whatever. So I'm just like, you can't talk to anyone if you do or if you even go like our family is so messed up. Like they'll think that you trying to come and get something off of your chest to tell them, just open up to let them know how you feel that you uh, coming at them the wrong way or something or whatever. So I don't do it. I, I, I can't with my family, but nevertheless, or whatever you guys probably, some of you guys on my channel don't know, look, it's a lot of people have nothing to do with what I'm going through, but I know who they are too. I see them too. They don't think I know, but I know exactly. I, I can tell if you're a narcissist, I can tell by your actions. Uh, who you are, if you're an attention seeker, if you need to be healed, I can tell by things that you're doing, the way you move, how you act in things that you do, and I watch people's actions or whatever, and I let it, I don't just sit there and watch you for a week or two weeks, no, I'm going to watch your ass for a while, and you don't even know that I'm, I'm paying attention to what you so-called think that you're doing some people aren't even aware of their actions because they're in a mental imprisonment like they're literally stuck for real and they don't think that the things that they're doing is wrong towards other people but i know like i'm gonna tell you like even in the midst of man i got a whole story and everything that i'm telling you i it's nothing i so help me god but the truth it's a lot of people have nothing to do and they've been watching me too and they've been watching my movements and they seen what I've been doing on YouTube and they was acting as though, oh, this ain't nobody. This a nobody. You understand me? No, I'm not a nobody. I'm somebody and I love me. I have always loved me. I just been hurt and beat down by so many people. And then I'll open up again and trust them again because 
I want to see people do better because I know how it, how it is to be in a situation and not love yourself from multiple things just occurring in your life or you being hurt to the max to where you but what it have done for me it's taught me to I'm not a person that hold on to betrayal or anything that anyone do to me what I do is forgive you and I walk away and you won't catch me dealing with you too much because you mishandled me the first time and I let you do it again and I let you do it again and you should have knew better because I was telling you I was telling you to stop it's a lot of nobodies that even they use they try to use money and all that I don't like people that use the money to throw up in my face either. I don't like you. I'm going to tell you flat out, I don't like you. You know what I'm saying? And we all need money to live, but my life has been so hard and I've played Russian roulette with pennies just to see by my faith to see what God would come through with. And in a way that made me not dwell on money and out of out of surface things and people and places and all of that. I'm I'm content with who yes, it's a lot more things I need to be doing in life and that I want to do. But step by step, I've been doing little by little, but man, it's people out here, it's demonic forces that they see the light in you and they hate on you and they do go and cause delays in your life. They try to put that witchcraft and all that stuff on you to cause you to be stuck in all of that like they asses are. They're never going anywhere with that witchcraft. They're going to die and they're going to die a horrible death and alone and probably by themselves and things are going to happen to them that's going to happen to their bodies and all of that. You know what I'm saying? So... You know, I just try to live naturally. You you see what I'm saying? Like, I wear makeup and I wear eyelashes and I wear weave in my hair, but I try to be natural, like, a lot more of this weight. I'm not used to being this size. When I got very, I had a heart attack at 30-something years old. I um, gained weight. My blood pressure went up and all of that. I've been through some stuff. You see what I'm saying? And um, I believe in the uh, law of attraction. I don't want anyone to do anything to me that I, you know, I don't want them doing, I wouldn't do anything to anyone that I didn't, would want them doing to me. You see what I'm saying? And uh, it's a lot of people around on YouTube. I just miss names on there. They haven't did anything to me. Anything like they may use their energy to try to prove a point or something, but I look over them. I look over them. Just like I was telling them or whatever. You know what I'm saying? And y'all don't know the deal. Y'all don't know the drill, but I, I'm not uh, uh, I'm not trying to blast nobody out or anything like that. And um, everyone who have did something wrong to me out of an ugly place and space of their heart they can get ready for that to come back because I haven't been across nobody path that did me bad and it didn't come back on them. See, the Holy Spirit is really with me. And I'm not gonna, I'm not saying I'm better than anyone. We all got our special connection with God Almighty and with Spirit. You see what I'm saying? And I walk with God, and I uh, you know what I'm saying He walks with me and Jesus and the Holy Ghost. You understand me? And so what I'm saying is, um, Missy Elliott, see, everything, people think I haven't been watching them and what's been going on. I've been letting everybody do what they do. And I wasn't really saying anything. I was just watching you to see what you was going to do. 
And uh, that lets me know if you're really a loyal person to even the friends you've been around for years. Because if you do a stranger like that, who were you when you met the person? I don't care if you grew up with them when y'all was a kid or whatever. Were y'all grimy or whatever? Both you and that person probably just to like. Y'all do the same shit. Y'all grimy. So what it is is people don't know God got eyes, eyes, eyes all around me. And the things that he want me to pay attention to, I'm paying attention to. Well, I knew of people that was coming out with their music. It wasn't just Chris Brown. I was putting my testimony on there and people was making music off of it. Off of my what I was speaking. And then... Then some of them are going to try to fire in my ass, you know, just on the accountability of what I was speaking and writing and jotting down on YouTube. They was trying to get at me. <laughs> but then I pay attention to what people is telling me. You see what I'm saying? And the beauty out of it all, I'm going to tell y'all something. See? Missy Ellen told me what is going on because she knew that I didn't know. See, I fell up in here blind. God said we walk by faith and not by sight. I, You know what I'm saying? He just told me to go. I didn't know what was going to happen, what I was doing, what, you know what I'm saying? What I was, you know what I'm saying? He just told me to go. And, and he crowned me from the top of my head all the way down to my feet with the anointing of the Holy Ghost. And uh, this is a real life true story. I got a lot of it to speak. And, and y'all don't need to go make a movie. go Because y'all making me feel like y'all mocking me out of my, my testimony, my shit. Y'all making money off of it. Don't do that to me. If you're not giving me anything, don't do that to me. Don't do that to me. Because I'm a genuine person. Don't do that to me. Please. If you not contributing into what I got going on, just leave it alone. You know what I'm saying? And go on about your way and do your own thing. You know, come up with what you're trying to do on your own. Because I wouldn't do you like that. And I keep telling people that. And they not listening. Y'all hard-headed on YouTube. So, anyways, I'm sitting up here and I'm like, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, what? Woo -woo -woo. I'm like, and I write poetry. I write. And, and woo -woo -woo. I fall up in here and I'm talking to all these artists in poetry. I'm talking to them about the street and where I done came from and about myself and what I'm doing and what I stand for. And woo -woo 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 -woo. and um, so then... Or whatever, uh, like they knew it was a couple of people they knew. I didn't know what you know what I'm saying, what everybody outside of me was doing. You know what I'm saying? Like they make music, woo woo woo, whatever, you know what I'm saying? Like that's easy access for them to take what I'm putting out, you know what I'm saying, and use it. Because you know, I hadn't got it copywritten or anything like that, but I'm I'm working on that too. You understand me? You know, they can reach and grab contents and titles and woo 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 and do all of that, but they just, you know what I'm saying? When I get tired, I get tired and I'm just going to walk away. I'm going to walk away because you don't, I got kids over here that I got to take care of. You up on YouTube bragging about how much money you got, but you don't help me do nothing. I, I come from the mud. I'm in, still half ass in the mud. You understand me? So, and then for someone to brag about a person being broke, but you didn't took from them. See, that's dumb shit. That's ignorant shit right there. I see that as ignorant shit. You ain't shit. And you don't, you, 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 all of that money, fuck that. You ain't about shit because you took my money. It's like you thought you was robbing me or something, but 
know what I'm saying? It's gonna come back on you anyway. This is a real life true story. Like y'all, 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 y'all killing me, and I, I, I love all of y'all, but you know what I'm saying? But y'all not killing me like that, cause I'm killing your ass soft. Silent. You, you thought you was killing me silently, but you know what I'm saying? The spirit going to kill you. You know, you're going to be up all night. Your conscience going to be eating at you. You're going to be guilty. You going to, cause I'm a, I'm a, I'm going to get at your ass. <clears throat> I'm going to tell you about you, what you didn't done. Cause I'm a genuine person. And I believe if you secretly do something to me, it's out by rights, all means, it's just for me to go on it and put it out there in the air and let people know what you did or whatever to let you know like that's not cool that's not cool so if y'all been doing me like that y'all been doing each other like that okay so anyway even in the tarot room they was blocking me trying to stop me i'm trying to help people in the tarot room and help them on to what's going on because i want them to know or whatever because don't nobody want you Playing games, we sitting up here teaching and preaching about deception and manipulation, all that stuff. That stuff gonna come back on us. I look, I look, I can't be no untruthful person. <laughs> so you know what I'm saying? Like y'all might have thought I was, you know, but I was helping people. Like I'm helping you. Look, look, this is what you do. Look, look. Even in the tarot room, these hoes thinking I'm trying to block and stop their money. And they even go to they, these hoes and threw witchcraft on me, all kinds of shit. Like, this is a real life story here. And I'm going to write about this shit. For real, I already started. Like, you know what I'm saying? They doing my shit right now. Or whatever, like, I don't, I'm not going to say when it's going to come out or whatever. I don't know. I'm just going to pop out with some shit. Because y'all, like, y'all be trying to one up people and do shit silently and grind me like, trying to be against someone and all type, you know what I'm saying? So I, I'm learning like you people not to be trusted on here. So then anyway, so Missy Ellie and 50 Cent, I'm watching what they telling me. And so by right all means, if I continue to put my shit on there, but I was trying to see, you know what made me, God told me now I'll write some more on there. You will find out who these people are. He had me doing it for a reason, but they didn't know what I were doing it for. He said, no, nah, write it on there. Write some more. Write some more on there. Write some more. Go and put some more out there or whatever. But look, Missy Ella, she real. Hmm. Stiff. And she loves people for real. I already know who some of these people are. They didn't went through enough to know or whatever, but Miss Ella, you know, she come out the paint. Her heart, that's just who she is. I don't know about who or what, if anybody that ever said that she didn't did anything spooky to them, but I know what I know. And I go by your spirit or whatever. So she say, woo, woo, woo. She telling me, woo, 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 you know, how this thing operate, woo, woo, woo. You know what I'm saying? She uh, she did a song. And I caught it. I caught the message. Because I'm a reader. I'm a reader. I read people. I read things. And then some of y'all probably can relate because y'all just like me. But I read what she was talking about in her song. She was t telling me what was up. What was going down. You hear me? 50 Cent. He plopped out with a video. Woo, woo, woo. He, he telling me the business. His video kept popping up. God said, you need to go watch that. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> y'all, y'all, you know what? Do what y'all do. Yeah, bring me a large tea bag. They're right there. So, y'all do what y'all do. Look, I'm going to keep on giving out my messages because I read people. I read cards because it's helping people. And like I say, y'all like, subscribe, donate. I'm telling y'all about the function. This message right here is, is uh, a lot of Cormix can't relate because they thought you was the bait. <laughs> 
Okay, so this is what this reading is about. God bless y'all have. No, it's a message. Y'all need to listen to it. Everyone needs to listen to this video. The Cormans can't relate. Because they thought you was the bait. They thought they was get, pulling, pulling the wool over your eyes when you already knew what they was wolf. They was wolves and sheep. So anyway, God bless. Y'all have a blessed day.